Okay, today we are looking at what I call Arrow of God, and we start with the song, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole heart. Is Mount Zion, sides of the north, the city of the great king. Is Mount Zion, sides of the north, the city of the great king. Of course, we are looking at the uh, Arrow of God, which is a classic by Chino uh, Achebe. And of course, it talks about the community where you had a spiritual leader who is Ezeulu. And with the intervention by the British, uh, and of course, the missionaries also came into the midst. Into the midst. And of course, uh, Ezeudu was to be used as, you know, by the British to foist indirect rule upon, you know, the community, and you know, he refused. But during the course of the meeting with the British, you know, it was about time to harvest the arms, so that even when he came back to the community. He still stubbornly refused to give the go ahead for the harvesting of the yams. And some of the yams actually decided to get spoiled. And the missionaries saw that as an opportunity uh, because they told the people that you know, the God of the Bible would not allow any kind of repercussion if they were to go ahead and uh, harvest their yams. You know? So basically, they would have uh, immunity. I do not know why Chino Achebe took that particular route, uh, but all things still work together for good. Because God can use you know, uh, anyone for his purpose. Uh, so that's why we're talking about the arrow of God. If you look at uh, Exodus 8, verse 18, God does intervene in human affairs. Uh, like in this instance, uh, God was to deliver his people, or the people, his people, his, the Israelites from Egypt, and they were having a lot of difficulty. Because every time, you know, God will show his power, these guys will, you know, also uh, basically replicate you know, uh, the miracle that God has done, but in this instance, they could not. The magicians tried to produce gnats using their magic art, but they could not. And the gnats remained on man and beast. This is the thing of God the magician said to fail. So even the magicians began to realize that, you know, God is, you know, upping the game. It's not like the other one that we could actually replicate. This is actually the finger of God. We also have another king that was trying to be very difficult. You know, because he saw himself as God on earth, you know, uh, but he also had a sticky situation. We see that in Daniel chapter 2, verse 10, uh, the astrologers answered the king, no one on earth can do what the king requests. No king, however great and powerful, has ever asked anything like this of any magician, enchanter, or astrologer. What the king requests is so difficult that no one can tell, him, can tell it to him except the gods whose dwelling is not with mortals. So Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. The dream troubled him. But when he woke up, he couldn't remember the dream. So he was now demanding of his spiritual advisors not only to tell him the dream, but also to tell him the interpretation. And they were saying that this is not possible. You need to tell us the dream so that we can tell you the interpretation. That is not the only thing that the only person that can do this is accept the gods whose dwelling is not with mortal. So they had a sticky situation. And Daniel came into the picture, you know, and was able to tell the dream and, of course, bring glory to God. People can say these things are for teachers. Nah, they are not for teachers. You know, uh, God orders, you know, the steps of men. He orders situation and circumstance, you know, to advance His kingdom. You know, uh, Luke eleven verse twenty. But if I drive out demons by the by the king by the finger of God, the kingdom of God has come upon you. So when God intervenes in these kinds of situations and circumstances, it is because He wants to make His kingdom come on earth so that people can flow into the kingdom. And so basically, if you look at the, the accounts that we've seen, you know, whether it's uh, a community being held to ransom by you know, a vengeful deity, you know, uh, whether it's you know, people that have been held captive and the, the, the oppressor doesn't want to let them go, or someone having a very sticky situation, God is always ready to come in. In fact, the sound is, captures it, sourcing from the end of the earth, I will cry. When my heart is overwhelmed, 
lead me to the rock that is higher than I. So when we have those kinds of overwhelming situations, call upon God and we'll see you through.